Hi and welcome back to Cut the Crackle. Happy Star Wars Day. Today we're gonna take a look at this. The Lego Star Wars TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet Set. If you can't already tell, I'm just shooting this freestyle on my phone, so this will be a much more quick and dirty review than usual. Even though this is marked as an 18 plus set, this isn't a particularly difficult build. The hardest part for me was the side panels, putting lots of black plates on top of black plates. Sometimes I had to double check what I was putting where. But it probably didn't help that I was doing that at 1am in poor lighting to be fair. This was my favourite of the free helmets and the one I knew I wanted instantly. Part of the reason I think this looks so much more appealing is this curved off area on top. It helps break up these exposed studs a bit and gives it a much more sleek design. Another detail I really like are these round printed dish pieces with the Imperial insignia on here. These are beautiful. Such a bold, crisp print. And I love the shine on that. Another YouTuber did tell me that these were a bit delicate and prone to falling off with the slightest touch, but mine seemed pretty solid. So maybe he just hadn't put them on right. One thing that really annoyed me is this mouth or grill area at the front here. It uses two of these printed 2x2 two two tiles back there, and then they finish it off with these stickers here. Why? Why are these stickers? It looks bloody awful. I mean, it probably only looks bad when you get up close and personal with it. You take a step or two back and look at it as a whole. And it all kind of blends in and looks fine, but... <sighs> Down here, you can see the tubing actually connects into the base. Oops, something just fell off the back. <laughs> Down here we have this plaque with the Lego Star Wars logo and the name of the set, and that is a printed piece. So just to recap, these are printed, these are printed, this is printed, but these are stickers. Why? Why have you done this? It makes no sense. No sense. Anyway, if you can get over that, I think you'll find this is a beautiful looking set. You could argue the TIE Fighter helmet isn't as iconic as the classic Stormtrooper, and I wouldn't even try to disagree with you, but as far as these helmet builds go, I just think this has translated so much better. I have now since ordered the Boba Fett helmet, so my opinion may change. A little off topic, well, still on the topic of Star Wars anyway, I picked this up yesterday. I know it's not the UCS A-Wing, obviously, but I have been meaning to pick this up for a while, and this was reduced down from $24.99 to $17.97, and it was the last one on the shelf, so I had to get this. Bit of a weird way to end this review. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the LEGO Star Wars TIE Fighter helmet set. Don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be a hero and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. May the 4th be with you.